this is just a quick video to show how you can open up this Odin so you can make changes to the machine, maybe add a touch sensor or uh, changes to the fans, whatever, maybe you need to make a repair. Um, anyways, it's really easy. You want to first go in the back, back of the machine, unplug it, then kind of slide your build plate up, tip the machine back onto its back side. Try to be gentle, you know. Okay, so this is the bottom of the machine. Um, here and here there's two screws, like a hex 2.5. Uh, I already took them out. And here you'll need a, I think a 3. Uh, yes, 3.0. Uh, in these feet, there are screws. So, take out each one. This one's having some issues. take this case off got random screws everywhere here's another one goodness alright whatever uh, here are the internals of the Odin for the touch sensor let's see Yep, right here. Okay, so you undo your uh, end stop for the Z, and you'll put in your two wires for the touch sensor. Sorry for being out of focus. So undo the Z end stop. I have a 3D touch. I don't know, it might be different for a BL touch. Probably the same though. But black and white go up here. And then there's a spot down here for a BL touch, but you can do 3D touch, whatever kind of sensor you have. So the other three wires go there. That's it. Then there's a little grommet over here. You can run it through. If you want to get real fancy, you can probably put it through like the cable sleeve. Or, you know, I'm terrible at running wires, so that's up to you. So that's it for the touch sensor. Then of course you'll also need a sensor mount. I went with this. Uh, it's called like the Odin King Odin Be Quiet or something like that on Thingiverse. Seems to work pretty good, but it has a, f a shroud with a sensor mount on it. And then it also has some fan mods you can get included in the package. Uh, that's all for the touch sensor, and then there's a couple fans in here you might want to take note of. There's one back here, and then I think there's another one, um, maybe towards the front. Oh, yep, right here. Here we go. Two fans, touch sensor. That's pretty much it for... Removing the case, putting the case back on is just the reverse. Put the screws in the four feet and then the two in the midsection. Tilt the machine back down and you should be good to go. And then you got to flash new firmware uh, to account for your touch sensor, etc. And then, you know, hopefully if your glass bed was very warped like mine was, you will no longer be having issues. That's it.